I think success is really a combination of everything that you do in life, not just, not just financial, of course, right, but family and self. How do you have a harmony that works for you? What does that look like in your life with family, business, and time for yourselves as a couple and individuals? That is a constant challenge because there is, I, we get so excited about business and then when we're with the family, we want to be so with the family. And then you really, it's, it's a challenge to continually spin the place in a way that they're not falling, that you really have to give time to each of these aspects. And I think we do a great job of dividing and conquering at times. Okay. Okay. When, you know, things are needed in certain spaces, I go, I mean, we do go and we'll meet brokers together and we'll do things like that, but it can't always be that way. Right. I mean, you know, I have an ex-wife because I wasn't balanced probably, oh, right? Okay. At one and, time, yeah. But now we've figured this out, this rhythm, right, that's so important, which has to do with bringing family in and not having egos and working hard and so we we're out bouncing around the country going and meeting different clients and 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 partners and we're doing that we're bringing our kids with us or you know so there's a there is definitely a different feeling this go around than the first time and you see that with a lot of people they just get so focused and all they want to do is work right and there's an, i don't i i can't throw a stone because i'd been there you know and and it was the right thing to do maybe at that time. Well, you uh, thought it was, you right. thought, but it, you know. I mean, I couldn't change it because I am where I am today and I don't have any regrets really, right? But now looking at it, it is, you hear, always hear about the balance and it's important, but sometimes balance might be maybe in weeks or months and not, not be every day. I don't have a great balance every day. Sometimes I work all day, yeah. you know, and then other days you say, all right, it's time, let's go to Disneyland. You know, and so it's just, you know, you just don't, you know, it doesn't come for me like some people. I get up, yoga, you know, yeah. then I go work. No yoga, he can barely touch his toes, no. no. <laughs> so then routine, does it does it change for you? Is it yeah. not a certain thing every day? I think we're both a little ADD. We kind of like the moving target always. I mean, I I'll like tell you that. though, this guy is consistent as consistent comes. Like okay. he has these rituals that he does. His meditation is in the shower every morning. He really loves where big ideas happen and things are getting solved and problems are being worked out. He loves his Big shower ideas. time. He, I love that. he loves it. And, um, you know, so, and he does always finishes what he starts. He's got a million things going on, but he's really, he's really surrounded himself with a great team to help him function. How important is that? Having a Crucial. great team to take you to Please, the finish line? That's Crucial. everything, everything. I mean, again, it's not know, an island. I found I am very good at maybe the people aspect and reading people in the operational aspect and in the, the building of the company and of all the stuff that goes on to really in the gears of a company, there are people that are excellent executors and operational people that, and I am not that person. At what point did you discover that that wasn't you? Did you fail a few times where you were like, hey, you know what, That's, I need somebody for this? No, I didn't, I don't know that I, well, and it depends on what your definition of failure is because I've learned a lot, right? You learn from pain. Right. You don't learn when everything is going great. Like the greatest lessons are learned in pain and he's had his share of it. Well, with that, what about philanthropy? How does that look and how does that fit into what you're currently doing? We have always been very involved in our community and in the causes around us. Um, there's two that we really are primarily focused on and that's the Horatio Wilder Association that Glenn is a member of, mm -hmm. which helps scholarships for kids who have overcome adversity, who've lived a path much similar to his People that aren't victims in their lives, but they've chosen to be a victor rather than a victim. You know, they could be bitter or you can be better, better he always says. And um, we love to be surrounded with that kind of an organization. And then also MD Anderson, he's had a run with cancer and they've saved his life and many other people's lives and are doing great work. So that's kind of our two uh, key philanthropy, but we support friends. We've always made it a part of what we do because I think that old quote, to whom much is given, much That's is required, required, and we take that seriously. I think there's a real responsibility to lift your brother up and to help. There's no handouts, there's hand, hand ups. Up. Something we're really proud of is a program we're implementing within the company called the Bridge Program, where we match dollars for employees' volunteer hours. Mm -hmm. So for every hour they give, we give a certain amount of money, and at the end of the year, they get to give a big check to whatever organization that they feel invested in. Cool. So it's not just giving money to give money, it's giving money for the time that they invest, which 
in itself creates another meaningful aspect of living and giving. It's also something that you get to teach other people how important it is that when you don't just live for yourself but you live for others that you will have a life that's much more fulfilled that you feel again money doesn't solve problems right money magnifies who you are and so if you are somebody that feels good inside then you will be probably better off right and if you're not uh, well, we, we've seen a lot of people that haven't done so well with a lot of money, too, you know. That's My true. dad always said, so, yeah. find work that gives you a meaningful existence. And it's not just about finding a passion, but it's, does it feel meaningful? to what you're doing really contributing to a greater good? And I think that's when you can go home at the end of the day and say, I feel good.